everyone. I just wanted to give you an update on what God has been speaking to me in the past couple months, um, and especially in the past couple of weeks. Um, we are back working on the base here in Mazatlan. We do have to wear our face masks to work, so we are taking different um, safety precautions um, due to the coronavirus. But um, we are back together as a community and it feels so good to be worshiping together and back in intercession together and just living in community um, together. And so I am just so excited to give you guys an update on what God has been speaking to me. Um, revelations have been new every morning. Um, the Lord has been really teaching me and showing me who He is and what is the good news. So often I thought, yeah, the good news are good. But until recently, I've really understood the, the weight of the good news, that there's nothing I can do, that it's I can't make myself righteous. Um, and I just had a bunch of misconceptions of who Jesus was and, and who the Lord was. I thought of the Lord as a con condemning God. I thought of that Jesus came on um, onto the earth to die for our sins, that we can go to heaven. Um, and I believe that those that died, be or died before Jesus' time didn't go to heaven. I had this misconception instead of realizing that God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us so that it could be the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. That we don't have to go every week and, and sacrifice animals and, and do all these um, religious um, rituals to be able to be forgiven. But the Lord says, no, you are forgiven for what you've done, maybe what you're struggling with now and what you will do in the future. You're forgiven. We're living out of the finished work of Jesus. And that is the most beautiful thing. Um, in June, I did a Biblical Worldview Seminar, and during that time, the Lord spoke to me so much about um, the importance of being involved in every sphere of society, whether it be religion, whether it be government, whether it be education, or business, or arts, um, sports, music, all of those areas. It's so important that us as Christians, as us as a church, the body, are a part of each sphere. Um, for if we as a church, we come together and we come close and we're not a part of those spheres, we as a church are not speaking the truth into the world, but society gets to speak truth into the world. And God's heart is that we all can come to know his truth, um, that he is love and he calls us to love. And I think something so beautiful about reading um, recently about Matthew 28, when we read about the Great Commission, we read about therefore go and make disciples of all nations. It's really easy to get in our minds that we need to go and we need to do and we need to achieve in order to be loved or accepted by Christ. But the Lord says you are not seen as if you are a sinner. You are redeemed, you are a new creation. And through that, we get to be Jesus. God gets to see us through the eyes of Jesus and say you are refined, you are purified, you are, you are new. And he gets to transform our minds. And so through that, I've just been constantly um, having new revelations of how every sphere is so important. And through Matthew 28, where it says, therefore go, thinking of it more as, as you're going in your everyday life, whether it be with your coworkers or your family or anyone that you come in contact with, love God and love others, and you will cover all of the commandments that the Lord has for us. And that is something so beautiful that we get the best example of what love is by Jesus, of him coming to the earth and sacrificing his life for us. And so that's just a little glimpse into what God has been speaking into my life in the past couple weeks and months. And I am so excited to dive deeper into that. And so if any of you guys have any questions, comments, you'd like some prayer, um, please reach out to me. I would love to contact you, to FaceTime you, and just really to, to even share just different revelations the Lord's been giving me. So thank you for your support. Thank you that you are with me in this journey. And thank you that you're always encouraging and sending me messages. I feel so loved and excited for what God, is, God has for me and what he's calling me into um, in the future. And so just keep watching my updates as I have a lot of exciting um, news to share um, coming up soon. And so thank you guys so much and have a great day.